In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question to print left view of a binary tree. So given a binary tree, we have to write a code to print left view of it. And the left view of a binary tree is the set of visible nodes when the tree is seen from the left side. So let's uh, see the example in the first example. If you see this tree from the left side, what are the nodes which is visible? So first is first node which is visible is four second node is three and third is one so uh, first one is the uh, root node and when you uh, go to this level only three is visible two is behind uh, this node this three similarly six and seven is behind one so only three nodes are visible when this binary tree is seen from the left side now let's uh, see the sec uh, second example and in this example what are the nodes which is visible when the tree is seen from the left side the first one is 9 the second one is 8 and the third one is 1 rest of the nodes are not visible when you see this tree from the left side like 7 2 6 and 5 so uh, this is the uh, output and this is the problem statement and now let's think how you can solve this problem efficiently one way to solve this problem is to do the level order traversal of a binary tree and print the first node of each level so if you are not familiar with level order traversal i have already explained the level order traversal of a binary tree in my previous uh, video tutorial and the link of that video tutorial is present in the description box so what we do is we visit all the nodes level by level and we print only the first node of each level so first node of this i mean this level is seven. First node of this level is six and first node of this level is four so let's visualize the solution so let's uh, so here i am using additional data structure q to solve this problem and let's uh, draw q so let's uh, start from the root node so initially when i declared a queue it is empty and i i have added the root node in it so let's add the root node and let's add them here and run a loop while queue is not empty so this is the important condition so while queue is no, not empty run this while loop and then we get the size here so what's the queue size here so the queue size is one so run a loop from zero to one and pull this node so let's dequeue it so let's dequeue it and then we have to print the first node of each level so the node first node so this is the condition to print the first node of a record of each level and now let's print it so seven is printed then what we are doing is we are enqueuing its left and right children so if if the left children of this node is not null and the right children of this node is not null let's enqueue in a queue so let's enqueue them and now in next iteration what's the size of queue it's two and uh, the size is two so we run from zero to two so we already dequeued seven so seven is already removed from the queue so now when we poll what's the uh, node we dequeued we dequeued this node so let's dequeue it and it is the first record also so let's print it and then what we are doing is if it's left and right children is not null let's enqueue it let's enqueue them similarly in next iteration i mean we are right now at this for loop so in next iteration five is dequeued and this is not the first node of this level so this condition is a skip as the value of i is one here and now let's enqueue its left and right children so left and right children is two and one and now after that we came out of this for loop and we go back to this while condition and here the queue size is four so the queue size is four and this time the queue will run from zero to and the length is 4 so 0 to less than 4 so 0 to 3 so 0 1 2 3 and now the 
node which is dequeued from the queue is 4 and this is the first node of this level so let's print it and is there any left and right children of this node no so nothing to enqueue here similarly we are now in for loop so in next iteration the node is 3 is dequeued and it is not the first record of this uh, it is not the first node of this level so this condition is skipped and there is no left and right children also so nothing to enqueue so 3 is also dequeued then similarly it's good uh, it goes for 2 and 1 then we came out of for loop and also the queue is empty so we came out of while loop so we have already printed uh, the left view of this binary tree we all we have already printed the first node of each level which is visible when we see uh, this tree from the left side now let's see the main method in the main method i have created a binary tree and i am calling this uh, function and passing the root node so i am passing the reference of root node and then it's printing the left view of a binary tree so let's talk about its time and space complexity its time complexity is o n and its space complexity is also o n so uh, that's it for this uh, video tutorial and for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash com, and also don't forget to like this video thanks for watching it